Krita is on Kickstarter again, with a campaign dedicated to text and vector tools, but not only. I invite you to go check it out and support it if you haven't already. They really need our help and they really deserve the help for all the great work they've done last year. Last year's campaign has been a big success in terms of the amount of changes it brought to the application and how much the community grew. This year, it's about text and vector, and it may sound less sexy than animation and making Krita faster than Photoshop, but actually it's a really important area to focus on. For us game artists, text and vector tools are very important when it comes to creating compelling and modular user interfaces. Vector allows you to create reusable components. That's really important. You can create base shapes that you can later on reuse in other Krita documents. So that's why we have to support it. And not only that, if you look at the long list of stretch goals, there are many, many features that I personally want to see brought to the application. I want the Python API. I want the improvements to the transform tools. I want also the arrange tools to arrange layers. And I'd like to see everything in the list, but this will only happen if the developers can find a way to get enough funding because development is expensive. Actually, it is way more expensive than what they are asking for. I don't know if you know, but 30,000 euros is basically nothing. The amount of work they are churning out with so little is really impressive. If you own a company, you know how little money this is. That's why I think they really deserve the money. To get a sense of how fast the developers work, check out my overview of the new features in Krita 3. It's available in both text and video formats. That's it for this video news. Don't forget to check out the Kickstarter campaign and to support the developers. That said, be creative, have fun. Until next time. See you soon.